Um, it's it's Thursday today. It's eight o'clock in the morning on Thursday. <laughs> I'm going with that one <laughs> to Oregon, and ended up putting all my crap into this stinking backpack, which comes out to be about 20 pounds. So that's really me doing a terrible job at being a minimalist. What are we next to? The world's largest Sitka spruce tree. Wow. Doo -doo -doo. So Apparently somebody somewhere with a clipboard decided that this is the world's largest Sitka spruce tree, but we're just gonna appreciate it for what it is. And what it is is freaking big. In the uncharted lands of the Pacific Northwest, we ride. The water got me. Hi. called the big cedar tree. It's a bunch of trees that grew together. Ooh. Oh, I'm that this is kind of scary. There's so much like wood above me. Ugh. So it is currently nighttime. We have both had a very arduous journey. We went up to this awesome spot. We were totally gonna camp there, but then they didn't have camping there. Campgrounds were closed. So we went to a different spot, I asked them, but those campgrounds were closed too. We came all the way down to Ocean Shores, now we're here, and this campground is closed, but we're gonna post up anyways, because we're kinda tired. It's 6.30 at night. I mean, in the morning. it's 6.30 <laughs> in the morning. More or less illegally camping in this random campground. Ben abandoned me, you know, <laughs> in a tent. The wind carried Nolan away. <laughs> so now we're just trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Hey, so we pulled over on the side of the road because my buddy saw this and there's also a big ship that's knocked over over that way and then we have some lovely abandoned house things and there was a sign well not a sign but someone had written on a guardrail private property do not enter and I don't really see how this is private property but I can definitely see why they did not want us to enter uh, it's super sketchy, super dirty. Somebody lived here at some point. There's tons of footprints that were outside, and um, yeah, kind of spooky. But we're checking it out, man. Exploration, adventure. A trail that led up the hill. More stuff. So we're just checking everything out right now. We're just about to explore the deep depths of an urban dump that we found up there. Until Ben here saw some dude that was standing out by something on his phone. So we're not really sure if that means he was homeless and living there or if he was just kind of there or something, but we just thought it best to ski daddle. We just made it to Oregon and we are here at the Astoria Column. Now. Hello friends, we are now at uh, Stevens Point, Lake Stevens, something Stevens, okay, so we're in Oregon, and we're at, where are we? So we're here at Stevens Pass, uh, that is in Oregon, it's this little Ford. peninsula, th what? St Stevens Fort, my apologies, we're here at Stevens Fort, there's like, there's a museum, there's batteries, there's uh, remnants of all these old barracks. This used to be a bunker here, and there's another one 
over that way and we're just gonna go check it out because it's basically like you're allowed to explore this because they know it's not gonna fall on you and kill you and since it's a military historical site it's sort of it's kept up sedimentary deposit we are currently inside of a portion of the uh, historical place that they think is bad for your personal safety so you know just awesome dark places So because this, this is a floor for the stuff above, because it collapsed down, there's a big gap right there, right? And that's let all the water come in through here. So now, all this dirt and sediment has come down into the floor. So it's like this whole, like, really tiny version of, like, a... Grand Canyon or something that's happening. It's really cool. Nothing like some good old rust and caution tape to make your day better. Man, too bad the door's blocked off. Oh, no. So I think you should like one person at a time. Yeah. It looks kind of sturdy, but... Just found a blocked off door. And now we found... This door is welded shut. So they really don't want you in here. Government secrets. Illuminati. Illuminati. So we found some really cool spots that were sadly locked off. So now we're inside of the steam place where there's like a big steam machine. And it's pretty cool. It's checking out all these sweet areas. And here we have a primitive machine of mankind. Can you imagine in like 40 years, people are going to look at that and be like, really having a good time. We're in a bunch of random abandoned places that are just falling apart and it's just beautiful and it's kind of dangerous so it's like really cool. There's all these weird things that I don't understand. It's fantastic. That is fantastic. Currently on top in the foundation of a house. It's like a 10 foot drop on both sides so uh. So we just finished our tour, now we're just having a meal before we hit a Borgen and go to a bookstore. You're already in Oregon. Oh yeah, right. before we go to Portland. <laughs> Hello. We're in Portland, Oregon. We finished camping, like, Tell apparently. <laughs> ben wants to go home because he's a baby, so we're going to go home because Ben's a baby. Because we don't have a place to camp. No, we have a place to we camp. We don't have a we're place to baby. camp. We're going to go home, bail early because we're babies. And that's what's gonna happen.